Every once in a while, it behooves us to return to the basics. If you are solid on mono versus stereo, you don't have any questions or confusion around that, go ahead and skip this video. We got another one, I'm sure, listed somewhere that you would love. Uh, but if you are new to audio and the whole mono stereo thing is confusing to you, I'm going to clear some of that up here in this video. So, hi. Welcome. Let's talk. Okay. By the way, my name is Joe. I've been using Studio One for forever. All right. So, here's the question from this very long name that I will not disrespect by trying to pronounce. Amrish, let's say. It says, I use a Shure 58 mic, so that's a, just a handheld dynamic microphone. In spite of choosing stereo, after displaying of left and right channel, only left channel shows active. Kindly guide how to get stereo. I use the Studio 26C. Thanks. So the Studio 26C is a small USB interface from Personas, uh, but this is a very common problem. When you first, anyone who's just getting into audio will probably face this at some point. It's a fundamental misunderstanding of what the difference is between mono and stereo and what you what you need to see inside the software. So just so we're all on the same page, let me show you uh, the problem he's talking about, and then we'll talk about how to solve it. So let's say you create a stereo track here. And, and to be honest, Studio One makes this difficult to mess up, but people still sometimes mess it up. Um, so let's say we've got a track here. We created a stereo track. And for the input, my microphone's plugged into channel three. So if I just selected channel three, see how that says mono? It's just gonna it's gonna behave properly. If we hit record, you'll see there is a single blob here showing a one channel of audio being recorded. Even though it's a quote stereo channel, Studio One was just being smart. Thank you, Studio One. However, if you've selected it like this. It says input three and four. So if it was a, an audio interface with just two channels, then that would say inputs one and two. So one and two, stereo. We're going to define stereo in just a second, but I want to show you the problem. Here's what that looks like. So this person is saying, I'm recording. I've got my microphone plugged in. I've got it set to stereo, but I'm only seeing it on the left channel, which also means when you record, testing one, two, three, and then you play that back, testing one, two, three, that is coming out the left channel. What's going on here? Well, this is actually completely normal behavior. It's you've got a fundamental misunderstanding of what mono and stereo is slash are. Okay, so mono means one. Mono is one channel of audio. Stereo means two, two channels of audio. So think back to long, long, long ago. At one point in our history, stereo didn't exist. You recorded everything, and it all came down one channel through one speaker, and it all just blended together. There was no panning. Okay, That is mono. There's no panning. There's no left. There's no right. It all just mushes together, whether it's one channel or a hundred. It all mushes together into a single channel of audio. Now, where it can get confusing for people is I could play that mono signal on multiple speakers. Let's say, for example, I'm playing a show and there's a big crowd and the crowd is spread out and really wide. So one speaker isn't going to cover the crowd very well. I might set up three speakers, one aiming that way, one aiming forward, one aiming that way, and maybe one aiming at me too so I can hear myself. But each of those speakers we could feed the exact same mono mix to each speaker. So no matter where you're sitting, you're hearing the exact same mono mix. Typically, like front of house, live concert stuff, they're pretty mono. They may do a little bit of stereo, but typically, if I'm sitting on the far left of an arena, I don't want to just hear stuff pan to the left side, right? I don't want to hear just that guitar and that keyboard, but not hear the guys on the other side of the stage. I paid good money for this ticket. I want to hear the whole band. So stuff's going to be pretty mono in a live environment. So we're, we're on, we understand that concept where I can have the same mono mix going to multiple, many different speakers. Just because there's two speakers or more doesn't make it stereo. It just means there's more speakers spewing out the same thing. All right, so let's get into the studio. What does that have to do with this? That just is a way of understanding the difference between mono and stereo. For something to be stereo, it needs two channels, but you could feed the same mix to both of those channels. So what does that mean? If I'm sitting here right now in my studio, and I've got two speakers here, when I play my voice back, normally the way you're, let's assume, I'm assuming you're sitting in your studio, you're listening through two speakers, or maybe you've got headphones on. You're hearing my voice is mono, my voice is a single sound source recorded by a single microphone. That is a mono signal, and you're listening out of two speakers. So is it stereo or is it mono? That's where people get confused, right? It is a mono signal, but it's playing out of two speakers. It's the exact same. So when I have a voice and I pan it up the middle 
It is coming out of both speakers the exact same way. It's the exact same signal coming out of both. That is what happens when it's in mono. The difference when I go and pan it to the right, now you'll hear my voice coming out of the right speaker more than the left or exclusively out of the right or exclusively out of the left. My voice is still mono. I'm, it's my mix that's stereo. My voice is mono and it's going into a stereo bus. If I leave it panned up the middle, it remains mono. If I pan it to the left, it is a mono signal that has been panned to the left in a stereo mix down. So in most music making environments, no matter if we have mono tracks or stereo tracks, it's all getting mixed down to our main output, which is always stereo. So in Studio One here, if we come to the far right hand side. This thing right here that says main that is our stereo mix down. When we go to export a mix down, song, export mix down, it defaults to outputting our main mix, which is stereo, which we can't even change because that is how the main mix is. Main mix is stereo. Every MP3 on in your MP3 collection that you're listening to is stereo. Now it may be, it may sound mono because maybe the mix down is just one vocal, one guitar panned to the middle with no stereo effects. So it is a mono sounding mix, but the file is in stereo. So what does that have to do with our situation here where we've recorded it like this? Well, what did I say before? Mono means one, stereo means two. How many microphones do I have right now? One. How many microphone cables do I have? One. How many microphone preamps am I using? One. So it is mono. That means this track does this recording does not need to be stereo. There is no benefit to it being stereo. For one thing, it does this thing, testing one, two. But for another, even if I had it going to both sides, that is still mono. There's no reason to have a left and a right. It's just a mono signal. So instead, and again, like I said, Studio One tries to prevent this by giving me mono inputs on my channels. If I select it like this, you'll see the meter change to a mono meter. And if I record, test one, two, three, it is now a mono signal. That's what a mono signal looks like. There's only one of them. And when I hit play, test one, two, three, coming right out the middle. I can pan this still, it's still outputting to a stereo bus, but the track itself is mono. So that's the answer to your question. You need to set your input to a single channel. Now, if you don't see this here, then that's an I.O. problem. I talked about that in a recent video. Open up your mixer, click on here where it says I.O. or when you're just choosing your inputs on your channel, click on audio I.O. setup and make sure you have a mono input set up for whatever channel. So for the example from before, you want to make sure you have one that says input one, it's mono and it's set to channel one on your interface. That's what you select versus selecting something like this or something like input one dash two. So you probably have you probably have something like this as your option for input and it's only selecting it's selecting both because it's a stereo input. You want to select one that's just like this, just input one. And you can create that in Studio One. It allows you to do that in this IO setup page. All right, so let me give you a couple examples. Um, so you may think, what's the point of stereo like a, from a recording standpoint, why is stereo even an option? Well, because you can record in stereo, but it needs to be a stereo source or you need to be using two microphones for that. I've got some uh, examples here for you to check that out. So let's look here. These, uh, these blue and red tracks are two acoustic guitar tracks. One was recorded in mono, one was recorded in stereo. What does that mean? That means for one of them, I sat a single microphone in front of the guitar and I recorded it. That is a mono signal and it sounds like this. It's just right up the middle. Acoustic guitar. Neat. The second one I recorded in stereo. What does that mean? Does it mean I created a stereo track? Well, yeah, but that's not what made it stereo. What made it stereo was that I recorded it with two microphones. I had two separate microphones, two separate microphone cables plugged into two different inputs on my audio interface, two different preamps. So there was a left mic and a right mic, a complete, two completely separate audio channels. And then I recorded both of those channels to a stereo track in Studio One. So channel seven and eight, let's say, I put them side by side. So they're two completely different signals. What's the benefit? Well, now it creates some stereo width. It picked up the guitar from two different points. So it, they're slightly different. So it's gonna create this width that wasn't there before. Here's what that sounds like.
it's not super duper wide because I like to use X, Y, where you put the mics like this versus spreading them out because spreading them out causes phase issues a lot of times. Um, but it is wider than this one. Or we can just actually, we can just put this one in mono by panning to the middle or clicking the mono button down here. And you can hear it's just a slight difference. Here's mono. And then I'll click on stereo so you can hear it. It's pretty subtle in this instance, but that's nice. Why would I do that if I have a song where there's going to be just one guitar by itself? It's kind of nice to have it be a little bit wide. Um, and if I feel like setting up the extra microphone, I will go ahead and do that. Um, but there's nothing wrong with mono either. It just You just know you can't go and fake it and make it wide later. Uh, that's subject matter for another day. Don't try to fake a mono signal into becoming stereo. It doesn't work well and you'll just ruin things. But um, the, this is the core difference between them. So where people get confused is no matter whether you record mono or stereo, it's still dumping into a stereo bus. Any bus you create is typically gonna be stereo. I suppose you could have mono buses, but why, who cares? Let's just make those stereo. Also headphone mixes need to be stereo because there is a left and a right. That was really confusing. I pointed to my right ear and said left because that's left for you. That's how that's how in your head I am. I'm trying to make this valuable for you. Um, that So that I understand there can be some confusion there. Hopefully this cleared things up. Simple rule of thumb when recording. If I'm using one microphone, it's mono. If I'm using two microphones, it's stereo. If I'm using some sort of virtual instrument, when I drag it into Studio One, it probably defaults to what it needs to be anyway, but more than likely it's stereo. A keyboard is typically stereo. A drum machine, typically stereo. You could probably have some that are mono, but um, you can't go wrong in those instances by just using the way that it defaults. But when you're recording, keep in mind, one microphone plugged into one microphone input means it's a mono signal. I just need a mono recording. I don't need it to have two channels recorded. It just needs to record one. All right, I feel like I repeated myself a few times, but I feel like sometimes you got to say it a few times for people to get it. Hopefully you got it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.